For more than a century, millions of women, particularly African Americans, have subjected their hair to heat treatments to get the straight or soft curl style they desire. Whether from modern electric appliances or wrought iron heated on the stove, heat training comes from implements sometimes hot enough to set paper ablaze. It can also cause permanent damage, leaving hair limp, straight, or devoid of natural curl. Purdue mechanical engineering professor Tahira Reed is doing the research to determine how much heat is too much. We are doing research to understand how does heat move through different hair types. Um, we're interested in understanding the point at which heat begins to cause permanent structural changes in the hair. Fortunes have been made helping women look the way they want, but purchased solutions often involve harsh chemical concoctions from amateur stovetop chemists and entrepreneurs that also pose their own risk to health and hair. We see thousands of videos of people trying to solve this issue on their own or just completely avoiding the use of heat in their hair. One of the things that I've noticed is that a lot of people are kind of doing trial and error. They're doing qualitative approaches. They, and it's because they don't have access to the resources or the insights that engineers have, and that's what we have here at Purdue. In the lab, Reed and fellow ME professor Amy Marconet subject hair from varied ethnicities to heat and cleaning regimens they might receive in the real world. The hairs are then examined carefully with the same microscopic precision with which they study carbon nanotubes and nanofiber wires. The main thing here that motivates me to do this research is getting concrete data so that people can have the information they need to be well informed about what they're doing, how they're doing, what the effects might be short term and long term, um, especially for those that are in the do-it-yourself movement. Reed's research is gaining the attention of fellow engineers nationwide and representatives of the nearly $10 billion ethnic hair care and cosmetics industry. I'm advocating for information that's empirical, that's solid, and it's not motivated by any marketing agenda because I'm, I'm not a marketer. I'm an engineer that likes truth, facts, data. At Purdue University, I'm Jim Shank.